There we go. Sorry, technical difficulties there. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was about. Uh, let's see if I can get into my settings really quick. All right, perfect. How's everybody doing today on this uh, wonderful Friday? Friday, Friday. Got to get down on Friday. Fun, 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 fun. Sorry, that's a nightmare. My girlfriend hates that song. <laughs> she hates it. <laughs> but <laughs> you know me. Sometimes I have to be an ass <laughs> and sing it for her. She's like, oh, God, that song is awful. But anyway, <laughs> we are here. Welcome, everyone. And uh, hello. Them guts, what's going on, bud? Woman, how you doing? Hello, everybody. When Venue, welcome, everyone, to this live review of the Joy Toy Mecca Depot medical area. This is one I was really looking forward to, super, super duper looking forward to. This is one I think that really kind of sets itself, a, uh, if I could talk, sets itself apart from uh, the rest of the sets. Um, you, it really does stand out. It actually does look like a legit medical area. The meeting area was cool. The dry erase boards, it's, it's a nice touch, don't get me wrong, but it just kind of felt like a, I don't know, a little bit of a cheap add-on, just adding the dry erase boards, because essentially it's just a smaller room with a weapons rack on it and a table that's actually two tables put together. Where this actually feels and looks different. There are some similar things within the set itself, but it does actually set itself apart. Uh, from the others. You have your medical pods right here. You have a, I think we're getting a white table here, which is a little bit different. Same table though. Um, same chairs, unfortunately, the undersized chairs, but we do have new, um, looks to be like totes. Pretty cool. Um, the walls are probably, they look similar, but this situation right here looks a little bit different. I don't think this is all one wall. I think these are three separate walls here, but we're going to find this all out by opening it up. So here's what the, the packaging looks like. You got your 118th scale right there. Hey, guys, how's it going, buddy? That's the road is here, baby. Yeah, it's Friday, baby. We're going to get funky like a monkey. We're going to get jerky like a turkey. Okay, yes, baby. All right, so <laughs> anyway, um, here's a little diagram of what everything will look like after it's done. Um, and let's get this bad boy open. Always cut away from yourself, everybody. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Eh. Wow, this blade is the drizzling shits right here. I got to get a different blade. This blade sucks. I have replacement blades for that, but let's get out the, the, the good one. It's finally here. The big one. I'm just kidding. All right, so here's Big Boy, and he, Big Boy Caprice here, wants to just open itself up. Oh, do I have some sort of uh, <laughs> dirt? <laughs> Lovely dirt. Okay. Get this bad boy opened up. Well, we'll open on up, we'll open on up. To the side, open on up. To a deluxe mecha depot in the sky. Yeah, we're moving on up, moving on up. To the mecha depot, moving on up. We finally got a piece of the base. Sorry, that's just my stupid little version of the Jeffersons. Okay. It open. Sorpox, what's going on, bud? Hello, hello. All right. So, all right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to review this box. Okay. Hey. Shut up. I'm not going to say it twice. 
bub. Sorry, my Great Dane decides to just let us know that he's there by chirping at us. <sighs> he also has to let us know his feedback on the set. So he likes to be like, hey, you should do this instead, ODC. So we have three separate sets here. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've got uh, flooring and a wall, two walls there. And we got some pods, because we're, we're a pod people. We're people with pods. I'm a, we're a collaboration of, of pod people. Pretty cool. Anyway, some chairs. And some connecting pieces. And what in the world is going on here? Oh, we got some stickers that are coming off. That's great. As you can see right there, the stickers were stuck to here, and it looks like some of the sticker ripped off. Boo! But it'll actually look like, it'll look pretty cool. It might look like, uh, you know, it's worn or something. I don't know. Why would an LCD screen be worn, though? So it doesn't make sense. Maybe they're having technical difficulties. Heh! <laughs> I don't know. And that's it. Oh, no. <laughs> I lied. There's the table. Anything else in there? No. Okay. All right. Let's get this the hell out of here. You, sir are going to be used to store action figures, so shut up. There we go. I don't like, bo I don't like when boxes talk back, you know? You take your take back, your talk, your take, take your take back, take your talk back box, and get out of here, right? Make like a tree and get out of here. It's make like a tree and leave. You sound like an idiot when you say it wrong. I had to do it. Had to be done. It was now done. You did it. It's done. You don't have to do it again. A wise man once told me that. Well, I don't know how wise he was, but he was a man, and he told me it. But anyway. Okay, here we go. What do we got in the bag? Let's make loud noises and annoy people. Sorry, just kidding. All right, let's get that bullshit out of here. Oh, uh, we've got some flooring. <laughs> Bet you guys have never seen these before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so we're going to take our connectors first. Certainly put the box in its play. ODC. Couldn't believe the words I was saying. <laughs> I'll get that box. He's mine, and I'll get him. <laughs> I'll get him, all right. Show him the ways of the dark side of the falls. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm surprised people don't think I'm nuts. Or maybe I'm not that surprised, because they probably already do. <laughs> anyway. Okie doke. Ministroke. All right, so here, quick question. Do, okay, so you know, how do I say? So, do you guys say minestrone soup or minestrone soup? Let me know in the comments. If you say minestrone, put two E's at the end, so I know you mean minestrone, or do you say minestrone soup? I got to know this, because there is a debate. There is a debate within our family if it's minestrone e or minestrone soup. And then I'll tell you the correct answer because my mother is off the boat Italian and how it's pronounced. <laughs> okay, we got some e's. We got some e's. Salad e. Minestrone e. Okay. Okay. So... Come on, there's, there's there's seven or eight of you in here. I want to hear all eight. No hiding. I see you pulling the covers over your eyes. Pull those covers back off. Is it minestrone or minestrone E? I'm it really easy. I'm getting lucky. Did 
That 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 was like the easiest one that went in. Oh, it's falling out. It's so easy. It's so easy. It's falling out. That's what she said. <laughs> Maybe she's so easy it fell out. Hello. Oh! Sorry. There is there is no slut shaming in this family. We are all family together. No slut shaming. Okay. That's what my girlfriend always says. Shaming in this family. Eh. Okay. All right, so we got some of this, some of that, and a couple of those. Uh, okay, so since other people aren't participating, I mean, Dem Guts, Woodman, Gaz, Zorpox, I know you're here. I need to know. And Terry, I know you're here too. Come on, Ministrone, Ministrone E. Let's get with the program here, people. I was never good at speaking English. I'm American. <laughs> Marka. 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 Um, I think I done screwed the pooch here. I think I done did this. I'm supposed to do it like this right here, that right here, this. This right here, that. Oh, God, that's falling apart now. Because I'm not paying attention, you know? Would you guys prefer if I talk like this already? All right, Woodman said mina, minestrone. Okay, so, well, it's so, uh, buschetti. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the proper way to say minestrone or minestrone, it is minestrone with an E. You say that E. You don't say minestrone. It's minestrone. I don't, I don't know where people started saying minestrone from. But that shit is wrong. It's minestrone. Your family is Italian too? <laughs> It's actually spelled, well, Zorpox spelt isn't a word, okay? Come on now. Do I have to, do I have to crack the whip here? Do I have to get the ruler out and smack your little hands? I'm just kidding. <laughs> spelt is not a word. Don't say spelt. I'm sorry. I'm now, now I'm getting all uh, English uh, <laughs> grammar Nazi on you guys. My mom, okay, so my mother, long story short, my mother was, while I'm building this, because I'm sure you guys have seen flooring being built before. And I should lay this down like this. I'm doing everything ass backwards. So you guys can make fun of me for that. That's perfectly fine. Um, but anyway, my mom, she was off the boat Italian. And, you know, hardworking lady. Um came to this country, then had to leave, and then ha had to come back. Um, long story short, her father got them into this country. Uh, my real, my actual grandfather, which I, I, I'm adopted, if you guys didn't know. Um, but um, my grandfather on my mother's side got them into the country. Long story short, he died, very young age. Um, they had to go back to Italy. Then she came back, worked her buns off when they got back, and became an English teacher. And then she became a principal on her own. Um, got her master's degree and everything. And uh, she's a very intelligent lady. And uh, so she, every time I would say, she's like, oh my God, don't ever, don't you ever, I don't want to ever hear you guys saying ain't y'all. I don't want to hear you guys using words that don't belong in the English dictionary. Um, and you guys understand, I'm, you know, I'm 38 years old, so I grew up in the, the early, earliest of 80s. And uh, things are a little bit different. All right, so what's starting to annoy me here, besides my backstory here, um, is the fact that these brackets are not staying pinned in really tight they're actually quite loose going into the holes oh how many how many references could i use there um 
I'm gonna see if I can try. Okay, so the outer ones are staying in a little bit easier, but I'm starting to get worried a little bit. So they're going in a little bit too loosey goosey. Ain't ain't a word mom used that <laughs> to say. <laughs> That's right. Ain't ain't no word. You gotta be do do doing that. Doot doot doot. You know. Doot doot doot. Does anybody know what that reference is to? Doot doot doot. Come on, wrestling fans. I know you're here. Zorpox. Come on. Out with it. Doot doot doot. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna open up this next broken thing. I'm not really, I'm not really trying to be a, a grammar Nazi. I'm just, I'm just joshing with you guys. I don't care how people speak; they can speak any way they want. I'm just joking. All right, so let's get this silliness out of the way for now. Since I'm just, I'm, we're just having fun here. Anyway, we're not really doing anything in order. If I start trying to do things in order, oh boy. The ADD will just kick in hard, and then uh, all hell break loose. <laughs> so we'll pop those in there, and we'll set that back there. And then we want to do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, Brooklyn English is my tradition <laughs> in my neck of the woods. <laughs> Why don't you go back to Greenbow, Alabama? Sorry, couldn't help myself. A little uh, Forrest Gump there. The question is, does Dusty think about all this grammar hubbub? Oh, boy. I don't know if you want to know what Dusty think about this, baby. Dusty ain't no grandma Nazi, baby. That's right. He... He liked, to, he liked to go by the seat of his pants, baby. He liked to open up the bay window and just stick his booty cheeks out there and let it breathe in the wind. You know what I'm saying? I like the flow, how it go. You know, that's how I like to play it. That's how I do it because I'm an American dream dusted rose, baby. I'll give you the bionic elbow and then you'll be one, two, three, staring up at the stars, baby. So that's what, I mean, I that, that thank you for that, Dusty. I appreciate that, that, uh, that sentiment right there, that uh, I, I needed to know that. So I appreciate that. So everybody give it up for American Dream Dusty Rhodes for popping in and saying hello today. Come on, you guys know you love it when he pops in. I mean, come on. <laughs> Sorry. And I did this, did I do it? Wait, what the frick am I doing here? No, I did this right. So you wanna make sure that this peg is up top right there and that peg, those three pegs. And then you just want to stick it in the hole, baby. Yes, you do. Gonna get it in there. Like I said, we're gonna get funky like a monkey. We're gonna get jerky like some turkey, baby. Not some jerk chicken, but some jerk turkey, baby. Yes. We're gonna get it in there till you hit some snap, crackle, and pop, and you got some Kellogg's Rice Krispies in your face. Yes, big disgrace. <laughs> Sorry. Don't ask what that noise was. It was something. <laughs> it was something. It was some kind of noise. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. So we want the two long guys right here, brother. Right there. That's what we want to do. Right? Is that right? Wait a minute. What the heck? Let me see what we're doing here. Oh, yeah, we do want that. And we want to put this right here, okay? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, and we just want to do that. And we'll do snap-a-doo. And then we'll come over here with this guy right here, okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. And then we do another snap-a-doo. Oh, I didn't do a snap-a-doo. We just did a pop-a-doo. Okay. He didn't got into a pop a shango. Just a pop-a-doo. Not a pop a doc. Not a pop a shango, but a pop-a-doo. All right, how about that silliness? How about that stuffs? Oh my god, I gotta pick this up. You guys should see my review space. It's a duh, oh, oh. We actually just finished our flooring upstairs, and I'm talking with my hands like this. What if I always talked like this with my hands all the time? You guys would probably have seizures, you know. Anyway, um, <laughs> we are a seizure-safe channel. Okay, no seizures here. 
I'm just gonna keep my hands straight. So, we just finished our flooring upstairs and really excited because now I actually have a space upstairs with the door that will shut and everything and fun times at Ridgemont High. So, uh, we are all we're gonna do pretty much here is just kinda connect some pieces. You got a dute, a dute, and then dute right there. And then you're gonna do dute, dute, and then dute right there, okay? Doot, 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 doot. How you doing, doot? Now, what you could do is you could do this preemptively and connect that to that and then connect it to the floor. It's entirely up to you, like I said. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. And it's kind of, you know, pick your, pick your poison, so to speak. Ugh, these floorings are just getting stuck. I'm going to have to glue them. That's what's going to happen. It's going to get glued, brother. All right, so that's going to pop in there. That's going to get back in there so it doesn't annoy the crap out of me. And the flooring's going to keep popping off. It's going to... Why are you getting it? Can you get it? Pop it, pop it off. Come on. Excuse me. That's gross. And not nutritious either. All right, so we'll get that in there. Meh. And the burr, 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 burr. Okay, so a little bit of pressure, like I said, gets the job done. How do you make diamonds? By building up pressure. Sorry, I couldn't help. That was cheesy. That was the cheese of the whiz, is what that was. There's no real um, correct size that you have to do this, so you can just kind of pop that in either way. Um, what I might do here is to now it shows on the photo that you don't have to put any connectors up top connecting the tops to each other so i'll just leave those out um but like i was saying you can connect these pieces preemptively they're kind of just for aesthetic anyway or if you want to have a connector piece up top connecting these two like so you can you don't have too many extras um so there is that to point out i think i have like one or two extra that's about it Arr, right, right, get in there and it's pretty sturdy it stays in there so that's pretty much what you want is this is this going to be a funky review and ain't no jive y'all and ain't no jive turkeys either no jive turkeys just jive funky vibes baby Jive funky vibe, baby. I should make that into a song, like a Dusty Rhodes song. Rest in peace, Dusty Rhodes. One of the greatest of all time. There we go. So, these are going to flex. Oh, that's going to annoy the shit out of me. Um, so, the flooring on this set, for mine at least, just th this is something important to point out. The flooring on this, like I said, the connectors underneath are very loose. So when I'm probably going to glue these connectors in since they're going in so loose. And I'm getting a lot of flex. If you guys can see right here, let me adjust my camera. I'm getting a lot of flex right here. Which is causing these not to line up. Which you can see right here. See that? So it is kind of annoying um, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, you can just use these connectors up top and then they'll line up right there. So that's probably what I'll do until I get them glued in. And like I said, that'll hold them in place. So they, they line up. Um, I'm going to have to find more of those. This is why I think joy toy needs to really give you way more extra than what's given, or they need to sell more of these connector pieces. Because if you do run into this issue where you have loose pieces and then you have to glue them, that could get a little funky like a monkey, baby, you know. But uh, we'll continue regardless of the issue. Uh, we'll get this table going. You do have a white table for this. The previous table was kind of like a gunmetal with some paint shading going throughout. So we'll get that going. Like I said, it's the same mold as the other table, just in white. So it is a nice little uh, differentiation from the other set. 
I got extra from the meeting dial. I did, and I think there was only like one or two of them. So, and I don't see the other ones. So that might have been the only connector that was left over. Because uh, I don't see any others, and I have it not. I have a not. I don't know what that means. But I have not touched any of them. Unless one somehow fell underneath here. No. I think I, what I might have done in the middle of the review is put the extra three. Uh, I put one connector up here. And then I put two other connectors on this side just to hold it together. So that might have been the extra two. But you're definitely going to need extra if your set is loose. Um, if your set's nice and tight, like a toy girl, um, <laughs> then you won't have to worry about that like with the other sets that I did. And you won't even have to worry about gluing because they'll just fit right in. They'll pop right in. Um, let's just wiggle you in. Get in there, you little nerd. Come on, get in your little hole, you little turkey fart. All right, so there we go with the table. That's good to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. All right. So we'll do the pods next because this is probably going to be the newest thing. Everything else I'm pretty familiar with. Um, the pods are relatively new. So, and by relatively new, I mean they're new. <laughs> do I meet Dio? Who is Dio? And have I met him? I don't know. I don't know anyone named Dio. Unless you mean a Dio no sore. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to continue on. Okay, so here we have your kind of stand-up pod, just the ba basic, blah, blah, I can't talk. Hey, y'all, this is from Ren Renegade Biker 24 Hey, y'all, I found out today that I should be getting my second major blood that I'm going to use as a min on box. ODC, do you think that there's a problem with shopping scalper? and sneaker bots lately um well congratulations on the uh the other major blood congratulations on that um i would say target recently i know i kind of sat back and watched what was going on with that whole ram cycle situation and the whole um uh what was it barbecue uh target exclusives um, they sold out in about, I don't know, what was it on Hasbro pulse? I didn't, I didn't buy any of them, but I watched them cause I am a, uh, you know, I just want to, I, I'm am I back? Am I back? I'm back. I fixed it. it. We don't have to stop the stream. <laughs> well, now I know how to fix that. So we don't have to stop the stream the next time. But anyway, I like to sit back and kind of watch the chaos ensue. And I got to say that I got to give Target kudos finally. they I think they finally learned um, <laughs> from some of their mistakes because – and I'll just put this on hold because I'm getting distracted and I want to explain what I'm doing here. Um Target limited um, their pre-orders to one per person, one per customer, and not only one per customer, but one per customer's account that's linked with the same address. So even if someone makes another account and they have that account linked to their billing address is the same as the other account, you can't buy it. So they really limited people, scalpers, bots, to doing that. So you can't just go around buying multiple orders. It gave people a longer period of time to actually get one. So that is really nice. Um, I, my jur the jury's still out on it. I mean, if, it, if it's available way down the road, but I'm just not feeling the way Breaker looks. He looks ugh, boring. Um, they took away his kind of specialties they didn't give him even like a backpack or anything and i get like maybe they're trying to give him an updated look but i don't know he just doesn't look like breaker to me he looked i for a second i thought it was clutch and i was like why is clutch coming with a bike he should be coming with a vamp 
<laughs> but it looked for a second it looked like clutch. They what they should have done was given him an extra head sculpt with um him blowing bubblegum like like they did with the 25th anniversary one. I I'm not really sure what they were thinking with that figure. I'm not really feeling it too much. Uh the Gatling gun doesn't really make sense for Roadblock getting a green Gatling gun. They should just gave the Ram Cycle, the green Gatling gun, because you have to put it in that little case anyway, and then gave the black Gatling gun to Roadblock because Gatling guns are naturally made black. If you give the Gatling gun from Roadblock to the Ram Cycle, since it's already green already, it kind of makes a little bit more sense that way. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's just my opinion. Um, barbecue, I could absolutely care less about Barbecue, to be honest with you. I know some people like him. I just don't think he's a priority right at this point in this stage, this early stage of the game for the, <laughs> the, the, the line. I'm not really sure why they're doing that. Is there a high demand for barbecue all of a sudden I didn't know about? Is he more important than Stalker? I don't think so. <laughs> My boy Stalker has still been getting, been getting the shaft, but yet we get four roadblocks and no Stalker. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. What a tangle web we weave there, Hasbro. Uh, just constantly face palming with Hasbro. Constantly. But, you know, Stalker, one of my favorite characters. I would say he's top five all time. He was my original... He and Hawk were my two original favorite uh, team members. Um, so there's that. And we still don't have Stalker or Hawk. <laughs> the friggin' original leader of G.I. Joe is not in figure form yet. And those are two characters that I would actually consider purchasing Classifieds figures for. I told myself I would do this for Dusty. If they ever make Dusty, I will get it. I'm trying to get this pegged in here so we can get some sort of stability with this floor. This floor is just a neat. It's doing this thing. I'm going to try and peg it where it is actually going to stay together. So there we go. That's a little bit better. Like I said, yeah, I was able to pre-order breaker and barbecue. Thanks again, Terry for the heads up. Oh, thank you, Terry. Thanks Terry for uh, giving people the heads up and um, giving people links and such. Thank I appreciate that, bro. No bubble gum either. That's what I'm saying. Like, how do you how do you have breaker with no bubble gum? Oh man. It's like it's like it's like we got to teach these people the most simplistic stuff. It's like these people that are running the show over there don't they just don't know what they're doing. Anyway, what I'm doing here though, cuz we've gone full circle, um <laughs> is connecting these bottom portions to these pegs. So you want to fit those portholes in there like so. Just like that, and then they just kind of stand up on their own like so. Then you want to take these kind of claw things, and you want to put the claw in the hole up top. And that's going to kind of hover over their head, I believe, if I'm correct, Amundo. If I am correct, Adamundo, and it is. Um, so that's what you want to do. Try to be careful. These are a little bit of the lighter plastic. What I like to do is I just kind of like to push a little bit. Um, you're going to have some resistance right here. Let me move up. Um, some resistance right here on the sides right there. You just kind of want to just don't oh don't push it too much because you could break the plastic. You just want to make sure it's snug and it's in there. So just try to guide yourself by looking at the back here so you don't push too hard and then snap one of these prongs off. And then you just want to kind of set it right there. Um, these do have pegs right here, so you can peg them into the wall and they'll stay. And that's a beautiful touch. This is this is the type of stuff that I, I kind of geek out over when stuff just fits the way it's supposed to. So it's like, oh, man, they actually thought to engineer that that way. And it's like little stuff like this. It's not like big, crazy, insane 
like over the top stuff. It's just the little things that kind of make me giddy like a schoolgirl, you know, just to quote, uh, you know, <laughs> the <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Giddy as a schoolboy. Um, there we go. Just until you hear that little bit of, doo -doo -doo, you know, uh, and then we'll get this in here as well. And like I said, I'm just using my thumb and I'm just lightly pushing, not pushing overly hard just until that's flush, nice and smooth and flush. And then what we want to do is where's my other flooring piece? Oh, it's already on there. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> um, oh, I don't. Yeah. Well, actually, I can just swivel this. So what we want to do next, and I'm leaving these separate for now, is to, oh, my favorite thing, stickers. Yay! Stickers. I hate stickers. Kind of like Indiana Jones hates uh, snakes. I hate stickers. Anyway, let's get with the stickers going here. That's where I'm, I'm back, magically. The stream did not go away, I promise. Hey, Andy, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Uh, Renegade Biker 24 says, I, I pre-ordered two of Barbecue and one of Breaker with the Ram Cycle from Target, and I was hoping that Hasbro would release other characters like Serpentor, Jinx, and maybe even the Alley Vipers, as well as Vehicles. Um, I think you'll definitely get some Alley Vipers soon. Um... They call it G.I. Joe month, but, you know, I don't know about some of the G.I. Joe month stuff. Um, what's going on with the stickers? Am I, am, I, am I doing the dumbs? Have I become the dumb? Is this a water sticker? I hope not. No, there's a crease right there. Okay, I'm just doing the stupids is what I'm doing. I'm um, just looking for a corner here, man. Come on, man. I just need a. I just need, like need a corner here, dude. Like, come on. Feel like Kermit the Frog. All right. So I'm not gonna do that with my fingers, like a like a dipshit would. What I'm gonna do is, do do do. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't know why it's it's just my crappy uh, Comporium. If you guys know what Comporium is, if you've never heard of it, uh, be thankful. Because it's like the shittiest internet service you could possibly have. And because they have a monopoly in my area, I can't get any other internet service. Thanks, Comporium. I hate you with a passion, and I will verbally bash your company until the day I die. Because I have one bar or two bars everywhere I go. Unless I go into Charlotte. And then I have all five bars because they have AT&T 5G towers everywhere. But not where I live. <laughs> and I can't get this sticker to crease for the life of me. Is there some... Am I, am I being punked here? Hello? Hello? Sticker? Am I... Do I... I am the suck. <sighs> the stickers have won, Woodman. Can't win. It's won't let me win today. Oh, Dad, I need help. I need help with the sticker. It's winning. Help me, Dad. Oh, God. Now Dusty's yelling. The other Dusty. Not Dusty Rhodes, but my dog, Dusty. Come on. All right. I got to do this off camera because I'm just struggling here. Oh, no. It's a water slide. Are you serious? Don't, don't play with my emotions, uh, Jossie. It's a, no, I hate water slides. Are you serious? Is it really don't peel? Oh, for God's sake. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I cannot, I hate, the only thing I hate worse than stickers is water slides. So we're just going to push this in like that. Because I have no patience for water slides at all. It's like, just, just give me the damn sticker then. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here with this water slide shit. Is this is this 1972 water slides? What what are we doing here? Water slides. <laughs> I don't even know why we're doing stickers. Like, dude, come on. You know how these how much these sets are, Joy Toy. 
Just put put this put this stuff together already. Water slides. What do I look like? Someone that's coordinated? Come on. Put our table there. Let's get this chair going. I guess I have to do the water slide later. Oh, look who's here for the to who late for class here. Extra extras of these. So now I can get these to line up. Come on, get on there. And it was in the chair bag that these were sitting. Why am I talking like Yoda? I don't know. These in the chair bag these were sitting. Mm. <laughs> What's going on with me today? <laughs> Struggling. It's a <laughs> Joy Toys giving me water slides and making me do extra work. It's like, am I getting paid for this? Am I getting paid to do extra work? I don't know. All right, we're just putting our chairs together. Do or do not. Do, mm, do or do not. There is no try. Mm. Yes, mm, too old to begin the training. <laughs> All right, so there we go. And then we can move this, actually we'll move this up a little bit. Just a little bit. Wiggle it just a little bit. Won't see you wiggle it just a little bit. And then we can just put this right here for now. And then cut in the corner right there. Uh, thoughts on Silverhawks. Oh boy, are you sure you want my thoughts on the Silverhawks? I <laughs> uh, don't know if you do, A-N-D. Because I think they are hot garbage. Hot. The hottest of garbage. Um, I think um, I'll revert to what Bobby Valla said on this. And I'll go with... think. Choose... Shop with your wallet, not your heart. Okay? If you're... a uh, a collector, and you want to be a smart collector, shop with your wallet, not your heart. I see a lot of people wanting to get things because of nostalgia and just because, oh, it's available and I might not be available if this one company does it, doesn't, or does it and no one buys it, or I miss out. That's, that's what I see is the ongoing theme with a lot of collectors, present company excluded. But a lot of collectors seem like the fear of missing out gets the best of them and nostalgia gets the best of them. And try not to just purchase something based off of both of those. You know, if you miss out on something, is the world going to end? No. Life will go on. Someone else will make Silver Hawks, I'm sure. It's obviously... You know, Super 7 is not the only company that's interested. Even Bob Uvala said he was interested in doing it. And he said he would have priced them at around $32. <laughs> You've got a company in Super 7. Now, granted, I own their turtles. Their turtles are a horse of a different color, okay? Their turtles are brand new molds. They are much different. Like, you look at Mutagen Man. You look at Bebop. You look at Baxter Stockman, like there's a lot of new tooling that went into those, and a lot of tender love and care that went into those. There's extra accessories. There's tons of stuff. Um, horse of a different color, completely. And they're actually cheaper than the Silver Hawks. Silver Hawks are more expensive, less tooling, reusing Motu bodies, no vac metalization, but I understand kind of why that's not vac metalized. It's actually really bad for the environment, and it's kind of it's kind of a little bit more expensive. Um, a lot of factories don't like doing that, essentially. But I get why they're not vac metalized. But there's other ways to go around it. Um, pearlescence. There's I don't know. Different, d tons of different, you can, you can do metallics, like a better, shinier metallic. Um, you can go with different types of paint. Now, it doesn't have to be vac metalized. I understand there's a lot of people that want it to, to be vac metalized, but vac metalization doesn't age well either. 
So at the end of the day, if you're paying for a premium figure, you want it to last. You want that longevity. This is why I have an issue with Mezco, because those figures just aren't simply going to have the longevity. That's just my personal preference. That's what I think about Mezco. I'm not a seamstress, and I don't have time to sit there and sew a bunch of, you know, cloth that's disintegrating. That's just me. But as far as Silverhawks, I would it, it's a complete pass for me. Um, and if I were really into Silverhawks, which I'm not, I had a couple when I was a kid, but I never watched the show. I don't know anything about the lore. I just don't care, personally, about Silverhawks. I know there's a lot of people that love them, and that's great. You love them, fantastic. But I simply, and I, if I, whether I was into them or not, I still wouldn't buy them. $55 is entirely too much for a 7-inch seven seven figure that's reusing body molds. Absolutely not. I won't do it. There's no way, shape, or form um, around it. And I'm just trying to give you an objective opinion. Um, take it or leave it, whatever you want to do with it. It's an opinion, but it's also baked, based on a lot of fact. And I actually posted a video on the Strident page talking about it. Um, or not not me talking about it, but Bobby Vela explaining. And this is a person that has worked in the toy industry explaining why you should absolutely avoid buying Silverhawks. Um, like I said, it's not the only company that's that's got a chance to do it. I'm sure there's other companies that would love to do it. Um, vote with your wallet. Maybe they'll drop the price if you vote with your wallet. You know, then it might be worth it. But that's just my uh, my thoughts on Silverhawks. And when I even saw the price, you know, I was like, ooh, 55 bucks. Like, ooh, what are you getting for 55 bucks? Um, I don't know. Just not feeling that. But I'm going to have to do this off camera because I, I got a feeling I'm going to mess this all up. <laughs> I am not gifted in that way. I've actually never really been good with with um what you call it uh what water stickers or whatever the hell these are called blah, blah, blah. uh water slides. Um just never been good with them. Oh uh, boy. 55 for team figures <laughs> are a rip. I know, right? Um Andy said, uh, once I get my Chitara, I'm done with Super 7. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, once I get Donnie and Mikey and Mondo Gecko, uh, I'm good. And uh, Casey Jones, I got him on pre-order. I'm good, man. I don't need anybody else. I have what I want. Um, I got a feeling Super 7 is going to go up, further up in price, and... And that if it if it goes past forty five, I can't do it anymore. I just I can't I can't do it. That's just too much for a you know six inch figure essentially, which are what the turtle size are. And then if you get into some of the other figures, they're around seven eight inches depending on the character. So I don't know. It's it's, it's a tough sell, man. There's a lot of I feel like there's a lot of smaller companies that are doing more for less, and Super 7's doing less for more. It's unfor it's one of those unfortunate things, and I feel like they're kind of taking advantage of collectors because they have a specific license that they're using, and they're kind of blaming, putting all the blame on the license, which is bullshit. But that's just me. Whatever. Hoping Marauders makes Vietnam figures. Fingers crossed, says Terry Turner. Um, F them hawks. <laughs> I feel you. I don't, I don't, Woodman says, I don't chase, laugh out loud. I eventually find what I want when I'm shopping. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Like, take your time, man. Uh, like, there, I know that, I know the pre-ordering is tempting. It's, it's cool to, to know what's coming in the future. Um, that's nice. Uh, so, I get it. Stop tapping. Sorry, I have to tell people to stop tapping around here. Ah, oh, rudeness. Uh... 
Um, sorry, I had to text somebody. <laughs> what about Bubba? Bubba what? Bubba. What about Bubba? Bubba? Oh, Forrest Gump? Bubba? Oh, yeah. What about Bubba? Make me a Forrest Gump. I'm sure Fresh Monkey Fiction would make a Forrest Gump in Vietnam fatigues. But anyway, while well, I'm doing this, um, here's pretty much essentially what you're going to have, except for the water slides, which, oh, God, why do I have to do this? It's like, I would rather just them be stickers, to be honest with you. I mean, <laughs> I hate water slides. I hate them. I hate water slides. Anyway, uh, so this is actually a really nice set, even though it's kind of like a smaller set. Um it's pretty nice. I think this is definitely better than the meeting area, personally, because the meeting area is just essentially a table, two tables put together, uh, six chairs, a weapons rack, a dry erase board, and some walls. This has got new, actually new walls, and I think these are going to be used on some of the other newer sets, but it actually does have medical bays that they can stand up in. Kind of reminds me of, like, I don't know, a little bit of... Like I don't know, for on a joking level, it reminds me of cone heads when they're when they're sleeping, standing up, and they just go <laughs> when they sleep. It's just really funny. Anyway, it just made me think of cone heads. I don't know why, but it did. <laughs> um, you do have these new smaller cubbies or shelves, I should say, and you could set them up anyway. Like you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. You could set them up like that any way you want to. So. It's pretty cool. I like the, they still give you the options to do whatever you want. I like that these medical pods actually snap into place. Um, if I could have improved a couple things on this, I think having maybe like some sort of, I, I know this is wishful thinking, but maybe a pod door that kind of slid open and shut, kind of like uh I don't know what you know those like automatic doors that kind of are like in a cube like a like this shaped like this and they kind of slide open like this. If they could have had some sort of hinge on here, I get that these are kind of close to each other, but um, maybe some sort of like clear, you know, in encased thing here. That would be one thing I would improve on. Um, but I think it looks pretty good, though. I mean, it is what it is. You know that these are medical pods. It's got the nice little Red Cross logo right there. That looks really nice. And let me just shift this to the side so you can see. Um, I definitely like this. Like I said, it definitely has its uses. And um, let me just center everything here because everything is kind of crooked a little bit. But it looks good. Like I said, once the, the, the water slides in there, it'll look even better. Um but I like the little details right here. You've got some little red and light blue and then black details for, looks like, buttons over here. Looks like you have some sort of triage right here. Some sort of, like, a, you know, a doctor and a patient standing across from each other. Sir, what happens to be your symptoms? Do you have a fever? Do you have, you know, shortness of breath? Anything like that? Um, I, think it, I think definitely this is a sign that we're going to get a doctor from Joy Toy soon. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the shelving and stuff, this is definitely could be used for some medical um, supplies and stuff like that. I think that would make great sense. Um, I hope I hope that whatever doctor figure we do get, I hope we get maybe like uh, like a deluxe figure or maybe like a two pack. We still have not gotten any two packs from Joy Toy. We've gotten three packs, we've gotten five packs, we've gotten six packs, but we haven't really got any two packs from them. So maybe we'll get like a Doctor 2-pack with some extra bonus accessories, like one of those tackle boxes that they had with like a maybe like a all-white tackle box with a uh, Red Cross logo on it so we can like place it like maybe right here or something with the set um, or put it vertical right here um, and then have a bunch of like accessories in here for like scalpels or, you know, other medical paraphernalia right there. That, I think that would be a pretty cool, nice little touch. I think it's a good idea for them to do that. But I, And I'm also interested in seeing some sort of like futuristic-looking doctor. Um, I always thought the the uh, the G.I. Joe, um, what was it, DTC 
Um, I believe he was in Venom vs. Valor also, uh, the Cobra Scalpel. Uh, he was kind of like, he had like this futuristic stuff. He had like a saw blade on his arm, like a medical saw blade or a or rib separator on his arm. And he had these like kind of like quacky uh, like blades sticking out of his back. Or something, um, I not something exactly like that, but something within that kind of futuristic, military-looking design. You know, I think that would be pretty cool. So that's just my thought on that. No doc, I have Charlie Horse since the Renaissance. <laughs> that's a good one, Zorbox. Um, guys, you could. Uh, you could chain the Sarge up to that empty wall in the corner and a longer table and put Serpentor in there. Yeah, absolutely. You totally could. Absolutely. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, I mean, I guess you could lay these down if you wanted to. Like, you could have one right here on the table and get rid of these chairs. And then you could have that like this, like this. I mean, you got this nice white table here. And if you don't like this peg sticking out, you can just do it on the other side and it lines up with the table. So you're good right there. And then you could have someone working on someone while they're laying down. You could even remove this piece if you wanted to. And uh, if you don't want that piece on their backside, you could, you could do that. And you could absolutely go with something like that. That's, that's actually a really good idea, I guess. But, you know, the world is your oyster. Like I said, there's not one way to do things. That's the cool thing about Joy Toy, and especially even these sets. You can set them up any way you want. You don't have to have them set up the way they show on the box. But I just show it and then try to give you options after. Uh, Valor vs. Venom. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's what it... Yep. Just cut them out and glue them on. I know, right? Like, <laughs> Terry, I'm super tempted to do that. I, I really am, though. As soon as I see it now from this, see how that has that like kind of glossy look. Now I can see that they're water slides. Like before I was just looking at them like this. So you can't see, it just looked like a sticker. And then you see a little bit of an outline there. So it was like hard, kind of hard to see. And then now that I'm looking at it like that, definitely water slide, but come on, joy toy. If you, if you are watching, um, if <laughs> this is a big, if, if you are watching, Stay away from this water slide silliness. I'd rather you just do stickers or, you know, best bet, just make sure that they're already on there before, so we don't have to do any of this, you know? <laughs> that would be key. But if you don't want to do that, <laughs> which you should, but if you don't do that, at least give us stickers, get rid of this water slide silliness. I, do. I don't know anyone that's like, oh, I can't wait to, I, can't, I hope I get water slides in this set, you know? <laughs> uh, what I think would also be really cool is like, so you have this guy, right? And we all know that he's, you know, he's got a big uh, rocket launcher right there. But if we got some like medical droids too, I think that would be awesome. They fit like right here and you could actually like the doctor, you could help the doctor like triage the patient and get them all set up, like check blood pressure and whatnot. That would be pretty sick, I think. Just just an idea, like I said, another idea. I got a lot of ideas in this this brain of mine that that somehow works, you know. <laughs> nobody use wa nobody uses water slides anymore. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Who uses who uses water slides? I don't know. We got Cyclops over there still trying to tell Storm to smell his fingers. I don't know where those fingers have been. Neither does Storm. Stop being rude, Cyclops. God. So rude. Discourteous. ODC, have you ever thought about uh, 3D printing? Oh, boy. Yeah, I would love to own a 3D printer. One day I will. Um, I would absolutely consider doing 3D printing and such. My issue is that I can't paint worth a damn. So if I were to get a 3D printer and 3D print some stuff, <sighs> after that, someone else is going to have to paint <laughs> because I can't paint worth a damn. And I have no patience for painting. For some reason, like, I don't know if it's some sort of like weird thing, but I just, I, I, I don't have the patience to sit there and just go, Oh, I'm just going to go really slow. I'm just like, try to hurry up and get it done. And I, I don't know. 
it's just like a personal thing with me. I think it's part of my ADHD or ADD. Um, but I, I just don't have the patience for it. And I'm terrible at painting, so. I wish, I wish. You'll paint them for me? Okay, Woodman. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> Data Links Magnus, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. So we're just finishing up here. Like I said, these are all water slides right here. Um, like I said, you got this this table that's a reuse, but it's all nice and white. Uh, Data Links Magnus says, ODC, I recently completed Dove. Uh... I, I recently completely dove into Joy Toy, mostly based on your reviews. Thank you. Well, I'm, you know, like I said, I try to stay objective. Not everything Joy Toy does is perfect. Um, we all know that they make their mistakes. They have their issues um, with certain things. They still haven't tackled, they still haven't mastered the whole sitting down thing. <laughs> We still have issues with them sitting down here and there, but these are very fun toys. I love them. It's my favorite action figure line right now, period. End of discussion. Like, And I love me some Super 7, um, what you call it, turtles. I love me some to turtles. Um, but, uh, and I love me some Mythic Loot. But Joy Toy has been so consistent with giving us quality and quality with a lot of quantity. Like they push out figures fast, man. They like double the time that like Marvel legends does double the time that pretty much anybody does. Like we get new sets and new figures and new sculpts for the most part. Um, pretty quickly. Um, even their pre-orders they are, they're up within like 10 to 16 days. Like pre-orders are down they're either in stock or sold out and they're shipping out right away. Like, so they're, I mean, they're pretty damn good, man. They're, they're a really good company. Are they perfect? Absolutely not. Are there flaws? Absolutely. Every toy company has flaws. You know, one day maybe I'll have a toy company of my own and I'll be able to do toys and I'm sure that'll have flaws as well. Nothing's going to be perfect. So, but, but yeah, I, I agree, man, that the, the amount of goodness that comes from joy toy. Um, I just don't think there's anybody in the market as far as like 118 scale stuff with the amount of detail and articulation that you get and range of motion that you get. It, it's a tough sell. It's, it's tough to beat them and with the, the quantity and the quality that they put out. It's tough. And I think if Marauders started creating some actual characters, and getting those characters driven and getting some stories behind some of the, some uh, some characters i think it would help marauders out exponentially because once we start having some some characters we can care about um, don't get me wrong i love creating characters with marauders but i feel like if we start getting some actual characters that'll help them out a lot and i love that company too don't get me wrong um, but you know that's just my perspective on things Nickel City Collectibles got a nice ring to it. Nickel City Collectibles, okay. <laughs> Woodman, I've... <laughs> uh, Dadling says, Woodman, I've been checking your reviews too. Nice. Oh, that's good, good. Yeah, spread the love, man. Spread the love. Go check out uh, Woodman's reviews also. He puts out a lot of good ones. I'm sure he's going to probably do one on this set. He just did a review on the meeting area, so go be sure to check that out also. Um, ODC Toys, we definitely use the water slide stickers. I promise you, I will never, ever use water slide stickers if I were to produce something. <laughs> I swear on my life, I will never, ever, ever. I don't care how much it costs. Cut, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't care how much it messes up when I'm trying to say. I don't care how much it cuts costs. I will never use this shit ever. I, I it would even be blasphemous to use stickers because everyone knows how much I hate stickers. <laughs> but you know, you can't win them all, right? I guess. Yeah, I say that now. No, no, uh-uh, no, no stickers, or no uh, water slides. 
Deadling says, uh, well, I bought like five sets over the last week. Damn, son. You're getting it in. He's getting it in, Deadlings. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Somebody help this man. Somebody help him. Help him? I mean, no, I'm just kidding, though. I mean, if you got the, hey, if you got that income like that, do your thing, you know? Do your thing. Um, Small Joe's actually recently helped me out. They actually have the Fear Mech 2, the one with the painted white skull face on it. They actually got them in stock where everyone else has sold the hell out with them. I actually had to <laughs> pre-order on eBay and I had to cancel that because it was like exponentially, like, I don't know, like $30 more expensive. And I just, I really like that mech and I think it's a good variety. It gives a good variety for the other mechs. So... I ended up canceling that pre-order, and I got my refund, and then I picked up the Small Joe's version, which was like, I, I want to say like 35, 40 bucks cheaper, so, um, save me some money on that. Uh, I'm going to need a bigger shelf for your, for my Joy Toy. Oh, yeah, I bet. I, I actually have a bunch of shelving that's going to be made specifically for Joy Toy stuff, so, if I actually, my girlfriend is amazing. She's an amazing woman. And she got me a connection with a guy that actually builds custom shelves and has built custom shelves for other toy collectors before. So I'm like, what? How do you know? How do you find these people, hon? I don't understand it. <laughs> I swear to God, she has the best luck and I have the worst luck. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't say the all-time worst luck or so I wouldn't have her in my life, but... Oh, yeah, I gave you a full house moment right there. I know you liked it. But anyway, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I'm going to have specific shelves made for, for Joy Toy stuff, and I have a whole idea of what I want to do with the, the toy room. And oh, my God, it's going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to a lot of stuff in the future. Sweet, love to see them when they're done. Yep, I can't wait to, man. I can't wait to, Woodman. But uh, I think I'll cut it here. I'm almost at 70 minutes here. Holy Toledo. Uh, like I said, this is actually a really nice set. It's small. It's confined. Um, you don't have to have it set up the way this is. You could actually use these pieces for one of the other sets, build another set on that. And that's the coolest thing about this. It doesn't have to be specifically set up the way it is right now. Go outside the box. Do it differently. I did it from point A to point B specifically just to kind of show you if you want it this way, you can do it. Um, I'm going to actually probably change a bunch of stuff once I get a bunch of sets together. Get this stupid gnat out of here. Um, <laughs> there was like a gnat flying around. Um, stop doing water slides, Joy Toy. That is That shit's for the birds. No, no thank you. Get out of here. Go get out of my face. Um, the table is fine, you know. It's okay. No big deal. Like I said, you have options here, and I like the options. Uh, the quality of the paint is there with Joy Toy standards. Um, the only thing I really had major issues with was these brackets that connect on the bottom that were kind of annoying the shit out of me. But uh, you do have plenty of other holes to port with. So if you find an issue with one being too loose, which was actually the ones with the grooves that were a little bit too loose here, um, you can port them into the other ones, and they'll still lay flat. So it's, it's not too bad. It's not Like I said, it's not the end of the world. Everything's still holding up. Um, you do have also brackets up top that you can peg in, and there's also extra brackets that came with the chairs. And I think, let's see if I have any extras left over. I actually have three left over from this set. So if I want to put extras in the bottom or use this for another set, I can. So... Be sure to save these. These are very important um, in the future. Let me get my table over here. Oh, my God, my chair fell over. Uh, what I might do is because I have that command center set, I might set something up here with the command center piece with like a, like a futuristic-looking table here with a computer and stuff like that. Um, I still have the – what was it? The It's like the – communication set that's coming the larger one um, i might use some of those tables and chairs for that also and that set that 
that uh, I did a review on a while ago is still 124 scale, but it works with the 118 scale stuff, so that's a good thing. So if you do ever find that set, um, you can it is compatible with these sets as well. So that's something to point out. I know I pointed it out in the last two reviews, but I just want to reiterate that in case someone's watching this for the first time and hasn't seen the other reviews. So, But anyway, that's going to be it for me. I digress. Um, like I said, I would definitely give this a two thumbs up and a recommend. I like this. I love these little medical pods. Is it perfect? No, it's not. It's got its flaws. Um, but overall, I think it's worth the money I paid for it. I paid around 42 bucks for this set, and I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I would definitely recommend it to anyone who, who's on the fence and, and, you know, give it a try, give it a go. Like I said, at least you have options. You can lay these down if you want to. Um, and they'll also peg into these floor, floor holes too. So you can peg those into the floor holes if you want to have these laying down instead of standing up. Uh, personally, futuristic wise, I'm going to leave them standing up. I think they look pretty good standing up like that. Um, and it's nice that we got three pods here. I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, I'm going to figure out something to do with these stickers, which I'm going to try and do the water slide thing. Go oh, wish me luck. Cross our fingers, our toes, and any other appendage that you can cross. Well, cross, I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, I'm going to die. I'm going to stop here. And, uh, thanks everybody for popping in. Um, and, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're watching this on playback, this was originally shot live. Um, and uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me again. I'll be back with another review shortly. Um, I have the next few days off. Uh, so probably expect a review within the next day or so. Um, I'm going to try and keep pumping this stuff out. There's a lot of stuff that I've been wanting to review. I definitely want to do a Mythic Legions review, so that might be coming up next. But I have a whole bunch of Joy Toy figures I have to get to as well. So expect that in the future. Like I said, thank you for all the support. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.